let's talk about how to load your body how to use your body to generate more power the easiest way to understand what you're trying to do with your body in tennis is to visualize a spring and what you're going to do with that spring is if you turn it like this and then push it down as you release it the spring is going to rotate and push up and that is exactly how you load your body for power the power in the strokes the efficiency in the strokes starts from the bottom up you're generating force from the bottom upwards so in order to do that you have to make sure that you set your body in a position to be able to really uncoil and accelerate that racket head so the way that you need to visualize for your ground strokes is you're turning your body like you're turning that spring and then you're pushing your body down from that position you're going to aggressively uncoil your body and generate racketed speed so the segments that are involved are your ankles your hip your upper torso your shoulder your wrist and your basically at the end is your racket head so it's going to be kind of like a whip so when i crack a whip the tip of the whip is going the fastest and that's what i want i want to start generating force from the bottom push up to make sure that my racket head is going fast at the end in order for this to work i need to use all the segments and i need to make sure that everything is nice and relaxed if i lock for instance my wrist then that means that that segment is not being used anymore so i'm not going to be able to generate as much power all right so let's visualize how this might work so let's think about an uh, open stance forehand so what i'm going to do is i'm going to coil my body around and push down so the first thing that's going to happen when i release this is my ankles are going to push up and my knees are going to push up and at the same time i am starting to turn okay so as i turn my hips my hips are going to stop turning and then my torso is going to turn as my torso stops turning my arm is going to catch forward and at the end if you've seen a lot of the picture of the pros right before they hit the ball the wrist is still coiled and that is the last segment that releases so the way to to practice this is really visualizing that coiling and pushing down and from that position releasing up with your legs with your body you want to make sure that everything has to be sequential you cannot force it if you go too fast with some of the segments you're going to break the rhythm and it's not going to work so you want to try to do it naturally just visualize like grabbing a ball and throwing it with your whole body grabbing a ball throwing it if you stay nice and relaxed and then visualize that coiling pushing down and then lifting and pushing up making sure that you're very nice and relaxed little by little you're going to get the rhythm on that so next time that you're on the court make sure that you're taking big steps at the end that you're pushing down with your body that you're coiling and that you're uncoiling as you swing practice that and your strokes are going to feel a lot more fluid and you're going to generate some easier power